As we come up the uh, switchback trail in the north coast section of the gardens, we find the highest concentration of the California native plants uh, in the gardens. Uh, off to my left here, we have one of many manzanitas. Uh, there's over 90 different species and subspecies of uh, manzanita in the wild in California, and then uh, many more uh, named cultivars on top of that. Um, this plant uh, off to my side here is a pajaro manzanita. So it grows up in the Monterey Peninsula area. Manzanitas are among my favorite shrubs to begin with, and this might be my favorite manzanita. Uh, in addition to these really interesting colored, uh, almost blue-green leaves, um, it has among the pinkest flowers of the manzanitas. The manzanita flowers in general range from a pure snow white to a deep pink. Um, and uh, depending on the species, uh, the bloom uh, period can be anywhere from very early winter, even late fall, all the way into mid-spring. Uh, the flowers are like little hanging lanterns um, with a little hole in the bottom. And one of the fascinating things to watch is hummingbirds as they come up and uh, get nectar from that little hole in the bottom. Uh, manzanitas are also loved by bees and, and many other pollinators. Um, some of the other attributes uh, common among most man manzanitas is the smooth reddish colored bark. Most of the manzanitas will have a bark color ranging from a, a red, almost a reddish purple, to a cinnamon brown, and most of the species will have a very nice uh, smooth bark that um, uh, sheds at the end of its growing season, usually around uh, uh, May, sometime in, in mid-spring. Um, but just beautiful shrubs that come in a variety of uh, forms, anything from ground cover to tree-like, and uh, highly variable uh, among the species in terms of leaf color, anything from a dull blue-green to a glossy bright green. Um, so just a, a fascinating genus uh, in general.